Back to the Fukushima nightmare. Let's get real. I'm not giving these fuckers a pass. No way are these motherfuckers getting a fucking pass. The government says it wants to lift evacuation advisories for areas 20 to 30 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The the government says it wants to lift evacuation advisories for areas 20 to 30 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The government is currently advising the residents in the areas to prepare for emergency evacuation. Turn home. Now they're coming out and fucking admit it. Three, three full 100% core fucking meltdowns. Three. The government is currently advising the residents in the areas to prepare for emergency evacuation. A recovery timetable released on Wednesday proposes lifting the evacuation notice by the end of September. The government says the situation at the plant has improved. Fucking millions of fucking people. Oh, our bad. Sorry, we're the fucking media. The plan covers the town of Hirono and parts of four other municipalities. Many residents there have been forced to evacuate and schools and hospitals are closed. The government says it will begin negotiations with local authorities later this week and ask them to draw up reconstruction plans. You fucking pieces of shit. That's your fucking job. You're always called the fourth branch. What the fuck is the matter with you fuckers? The measures are expected to include reopening hospitals and other public services and decontaminating schoolyards. The government says it will support each local government to help their residents return home. What the fuck? This is fucking serious, serious shit. Three, three, this is bigger than Chernobyl ever fuck. And you fuckers just want to give it a fucking pass. Are you? Now they're going to fucking, Japan wants to take the 20 to 30 mile fucking radius. And they're says, oh, we're letting them back in. Well, I've been waiting to put this video up. I was going to wait for the 66th anniversary of Hiroshima, which is in two days. But I, it's too acute. I've been waiting for numbers coming in from some journalists I know in Hong Kong. They've sent them. These fucking numbers are off the fucking hook. Tokyo's had some of the highest fucking ratings they've had the entire event. This fucking thing is fucking on. The operator of the Fukushima power plant says it could restart injecting water into its crippled reactors within three hours if the plant's cooling system is shut down by problems. Like I said from the get, this is Chernobyl on fucking Balco. I said it from fucking day one. Tokyo Electric Power Company made the claim in a report to the Industrial Ministry's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency on Wednesday. The report says that TEPCO could restart the system within 30 minutes of a loss of power or the water pumps breaking down by using extra pumps and emergency generators. If problems occur simultaneously, TEPCO says it will use fire engines to restart injecting coolant water within three hours. Right up the gate. This is the biggest nuclear disaster in world history. In world fucking history. The biggest nuclear accident. Tedco's report is expected to help the government review an emergency evacuation advisory for local residents. What the fuck? Now get, get this. Get this. No reports. Right. Get what fucking Japan's doing now. These evil fuck is all Shima pieces of fucking shit. Hiroshima was not an accident. It was on purpose. This is the biggest nuclear accident. The Tsar bomb was done on purpose. The fucking test and the Nevada test done on purpose. Those are the biggest nuclear disaster. The fucking test and the Nevada test, the biggest fucking disaster in fucking American fucking, in world fucking nuclear history. Hiroshima, biggest disaster, as Leonard Bird writes in his magnificent fucking book. Do not let these media motherfuckers off the hook. There is going to be some accountability, and that is the beauty of fucking YouTube. A nuclear reactor at a power plant in Niigata Prefecture, central Japan, will be shut down soon for a regular inspection. This is the first reactor run by Tokyo Electric Power Company to undergo an inspection since the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. The number one reactor at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear plant will reduce power output starting Friday afternoon and stop it entirely early Saturday morning for a two-month inspection. 
After the reactor is shut down, only three of TEPCO's 17 reactors will be active. As a result, 39 reactors out of the total of 54 in the country will be out of service. Another reactor at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant is scheduled for a regular inspection from late August. To make up for the lost power, TEPCO plans to increase output at its thermal plants, but is also calling for the continuation of ongoing energy-saving efforts. Niigata Governor Hirohiko Izumida has said he won't decide whether he will agree to restart the reactors until the cause of the accident at Fukushima Daiichi is disclosed. You think about it, you think about it, three full blown out core meltdowns and you think about the contemporized media. You think about Fox, CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS and the BBC. Not to mention fucking Murdoch's fucking dilute down. They let these fuckers off the hook. Japanese government says the yearly radiation limit for school children will be lowered as early as this month. The limit for accumulated external radiation for children involved in outdoor activities has been set at 20 millisieverts that is, per year in the wake of the Fukushima nuclear accident. But many parents and teachers want this figure to be lowered. Some schools are restricting outdoor activities even if radiation levels are below the government set standard. Based on the results of radiation monitoring, the Education Ministry will probably lower the limit when the summer recess ends later this month. Look, look, let's get real. I watch the fucking causes of plutonium. To the most perfectly physically fit, healthy fucking man you ever fucked. A man who never had a fucking cavity. I watched the fucking results of nuclear fucking exposure. I watched him fucking die in the prime of his life. I watched him fucking as the pigment of his fucking eyes being burned out. Blisters on his fucking tongue. I fucking seen it firsthand. Ban will dismiss three senior nuclear administration officials over their mishandling of the crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Japanese economy, trade and industry minister Bandi Kaeda announced the dismissals at a news conference on Thursday morning in Tokyo. Kesanjo the three officials are the Vice Minister of the Economy, Trade and Industry Ministry, Kazuo Matsunaga, Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency Director General Nobuaki Terasaka, and Natural Resources and Energy Agency Director General Tetsuhiro Hosono. Last month, Kaieda suggested he would step down to take responsibility for the confusion over the decision to carry out so-called stress tests on nuclear reactors around the country. At this morning's news conference, he said he would decide for himself about when to resign. And like this fucking fair winds mother, I'm tired of those motherfuckers too. Now they fucking get on it? After fucking two months they fucking play down? They're as fucking guilty as fucking TEPCO. They're as guilty as the fucking Japanese government. They're as guilty as the American media and the world fucking media. This isn't just stop at the United States doorsteps. Oh no. Oh no. This is on the world fucking me. I'm not letting you motherfuckers off the fucking hook. You evil pieces of fucking shit. Three. Three full blown out, 100% fucking meltdowns, and you're like, oh, our bad, no biggie, fuck you. The government says it wants to lift evacuation advisories for areas 20 to 30 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The government is currently advising the residents in the areas to prepare for emergency evacuation. A recovery timetable released on Wednesday proposes lifting the evacuation notice by the end of September. The government says the situation at the plant has improved. The plan covers the town of Hirono and parts of four other municipalities. Many residents there have been forced to evacuate and schools and hospitals are closed. The government says it will begin negotiations with local authorities later this week and ask them to draw up reconstruction plans. The measures are expected to include reopening hospitals and other public services and decontaminating schoolyards. The government says it will support each local government to help their residents return home. Thanks, and now the weather. The planet's fucked, it is your fault, and it's getting worse. Join me next week to see if anything has changed. <laughs>